All right, this is video number one in a series of videos where we're going to make a tank battle game in uh, Unity for Android mobile devices. And this, uh, these videos are uh, set at uh, beginner level, okay? So in this um, <coughs> video, we're going to um, create a new project, which is what I've done here. And uh, we're going to go first of all, file, uh, build settings, Okay, and then we're going to choose Android and switch platform. Okay, once you've done that, all right, we need to uh, have a look at the top here to make sure it is Android, and you'll see at the top it says the word Android. Okay, and also this view down here has changed to uh, 800 before 80 or something similar. Okay, uh, next thing we need to do is because for mobile devices we are going to um, need to kind of keep um, the game uh, set up in uh, in a way so that it doesn't use too many resources um, and we are going to uh, first of all have a look at our lighting okay so <clears throat> let's have a look at window okay uh, go to lighting uh, settings okay uh, I'm going to turn off the default skybox okay just set that to none and then down here in environmental lighting, going to change that to uh, color. And then here, uh, environment reflections, just put custom. Uh, turn off real time lighting. Okay, and then go down to here where it says uh, directional. Set that to uh, non directional. Okay, and turn off auto generate down here. Okay, good debug settings and all this down here are fine okay good so that's the lighting dealt with uh, next thing we can have a look at is we can have a look at the quality so project settings quality uh, we want to change this to uh, medium okay so we'll have a look at this in medium uh, medium here is set here uh, we're going to all we're going to do is leave it as it is and change this from hard shadows to disable shadows okay good all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the main camera and here we can turn off the flare layer okay and we can turn off this mmsa and hdr okay and here for this skybox we're just going to have a solid color okay and also, <clears throat> if we move to this uh, directional light, uh, we're going to change it the mode from real time uh, to baked, okay? And we're going to shadow type here, going to turn the shadows off to no shadows, all right? Good. So here we've got something um, where effectively we've turned off the shadows and we've sorted the quality setting out to like medium quality. Okay, and, and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make some folders in our assets down here. Okay, you've got one like images, prefabs, scenes, and scripts. Okay, I've made another one called tanks and another one called terrains. Okay, so after you've made your uh, folders, okay, which we're going to keep all of the things that we make in, Okay, you go to standard assets, right, from the Unity uh, Assets Store. Okay, go to standard assets and you can uh, download that. Uh, if you already have it, you can go to assets, import package. Okay, and you want um, the uh, cameras. Okay, so import your cameras. Okay, there and they'll show up down here. And the camera that we want is the multi-purpose uh, camera rig, okay? This one here. And you can leave that as it is for now, right? Okay, so next thing we need to do is uh, we need to make a terrain, okay? So in the terrains folder here, I've made a terrain and you can go create uh, 3D object terrain, okay? And to save time, I've already made one and here it is. So, okay, we'll have a quick look at this to see what's happening. Okay, first of all, uh, we, the terrain size, if you open up, if you press this at the end here, 
Okay, you'll see the size of this terrain is two is 500 by 500. Okay, first thing we can do is we can position it minus 250 on the X and minus 250 on the Z, and that puts it uh, so that the middle 000 is right in the middle of the terrain. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing what we can do is we can go to uh, the material in the base terrain here and where it says material uh, we'll change it from built-in standard to built-in legacy diffuse okay and we can go down a little bit more here and we can turn off all this wind okay turn all these off okay and then that that's pretty much good to go okay great so how did I how did I get uh, this uh, like it is okay this terrain well I said edit textures okay went to a little paintbrush in the middle here edit textures add texture and you'll get your texture okay uh, add texture and edit texture okay so I've got two textures and then what I did was uh, I used this little mountain one at the end here and I drew my mountains in okay using this okay for example I'll just draw a few more in here I can choose this one here for example um, brush size maybe make it like 50 or something okay something like that and then you can just draw these in okay all right, and we're going to use this to like test the mobility of our tank and, and, and everything else. All right, make a prefab of it. So I drag it into the terrains folder, and if you make any changes to it, just hit apply. Okay. So the terrain's pretty much good to go now. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, import our tank. All right. So click your tanks folder, and I've got a model here which is uh, based on a chieftain tank okay and I've made a folder called chieftain tank and I've imported here my uh, tank all right I've got the barrel and this is quite important all right uh, you need to when you do your tank you need to separate the tank into uh, three parts okay first one is you need the barrel and then you're going to need a hull all right which is like the the base of the tank with, with the tracks okay and then the actual the turret okay so you need those separated uh, because we're going to be able to we want, want to be able to move the barrel up and down okay and the hole we want to be able to move that forwards and backwards and to rotate and the turret we want that to be able to rotate as well okay right this this models have come from SketchUp and um, when you import your models okay what you can do for each of them is turn off the read write enabled here okay and then hit apply good so there's your there's your tank your tanks in okay and that will come with uh, textures and materials right this is from uh, SketchUp uh, 2015 all right saved as two as a 2015 okay and it comes in with materials so let's have a look at those materials well because we're building for mobile you want to be using the mobile uh, shaders so you can go mobile and I'm choosing vertex lit okay so I change them all to vertex lit for the barrel and the hull okay and also for the turret good so that's the materials dealt with as well great so let's get uh, let's get the tank in there okay and uh, have uh, in prefabs folder uh, have a tank okay so I'm going to import the tank now just drag the tank in okay and um, there's the tank good okay so let's hide him in on this tank and as you can see this tank's got some colliders and things like that and that's the subject of the uh, next video all right so you should have now uh, a terrain and a tank okay and I'm going to show you how to or suggest ways of putting uh, colliders on this tank and to uh, yeah prepare it for getting it to move all right good 
thanks for watching i uh, hope you learned something and uh, yeah please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video and see you in the next video